Oh, welcome, guys. So, uh, in the previous that uh, we already we already discussed uh, uh, many properties. Uh, we already discussed the many properties of the uh, uh, Hermitian polynomial, right? So uh, this time I uh, will just prove the orthogonality of the Hermitian uh, polynomial. Okay, so remember that we have the uh, remember that uh, we have the recursion formula like this. So this is h a minus one, right? But uh, we can use the previous two. Uh, we can use the previous this one, right? So we just we can just re replace this minus two and h a minus one to be h n prime. Right, so we have this. Then we can take the another derivative. Well, we just take a derivative again. Then we get this. Uh, the trick is that uh, okay, so suppose we do the let's do it step by step. Suppose we take a one derivative. Then we will get this one. So uh, we will get this one, right? So we will get the these two x h n plus two x h n prime minus h n double prime, and uh, by the by the recursion relation we have this. So Combine obviously we uh, we have this. Okay, so we have h n double prime minus two x h n prime plus two and h n is zero. Okay, and uh, we will start from here. Then we know that if we times the exponential negative square, then this term become the stern Lubinier problem, right? So that means omega. This is our weight. So this implies that h uh, n h m dx from a negative infinity to uh, minus infinity to negative infinity times exponential dx will be zero if m is not the same as n. Okay, by uh, Stern Lubinier property. So this is the previous uh, results. If you don't know, then you can go back to see my uh, previous video. Okay, so that that means uh, we only need to show this. Right, so we need only need to show, we need only need to prove find the number at the, uh, uh, when n equals to, n equals to m, right? So, uh, remember that we have the, we have the beautiful, uh, we have this generating function. Okay, so in order to do this, then uh, we can just directly compute. So let's say uh, we take, uh, we just take two of it. So it's S X. Right, we take one is S, one is T. Then we have uh, H N T N S N N factorial M factorial. This is M and H M. Right. And it's n m, and we times the exponential of negative x here, and then we do a dx. Okay, so let's see the, and we know that the also connectivity, right? So the left hand side is only exists as h n h n n factorial, right? T, so t and s now are the same. Uh, now t and s are different, but uh, we do x integral, so only m equals to n survive. So this is T S to the power n right n factorial and h n let's say h n x right so it's basically this one square minus uh is equal square square if right so we have this one okay and uh, this one will equals to well equals to uh, the left hand side. So let's so left hand side is basically this s s square plus two s that's minus t square plus two t x okay d x okay so if you see carefully then this one can return as uh, exponential negative x minus s minus t square has exponential two s t right so we just I just 
plus one terms, and, uh, just minus the exponential two T S and then times E two T S, right? So this term is six terms. S there are six terms contain this. And then this is term is square root of pi, right? Everyone knows about this exponential two T S. Okay, so combine all we have. So this term is as this. So it's T S to n n factorial square n from zero to infinity, which n square x exponential minus x squared dx infinity negative infinity so this term is square root of pi 2 ts to the power n n factorial equals to this okay so compare it we finally get our hermitian uh, sorry the ermine polynomial or subordinate constant is basically so you see it's basically n factorial there's a put n factor and a 2 to the n square root of pi okay uh, okay that's a proof okay and the next time uh, we will uh, prove the alternative representation and we can quickly go go to the quantum mechanics and i will see you guys in the next videos